What is up, man? 25 gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I got some information for you regarding uh, the future of myself on YouTube. What's kind of been going on? Why I haven't had time, and, and, and kind of just give you a little update as well as I'm going to give you the best blitz in Men NFL 25. I apologize if I bumped the mic there on accident. Now, real quickly, I want to discuss what's been going on in the YouTube channel just to kind of give you a quick update. Um, I'm working on an ebook right now, and I'm working on a ton of, st of school stuff, as well as trying to get caught up on all of my uh, different projects that I'm working on. So, for right now, uh, we're going to go to a one video a day schedule. I know I haven't been able to maintain that lately, uh, but I will be able to maintain a one video a day schedule. That video will typically go on uh, the air at about... Oh, probably 4 o'clock in the afternoon, probably 3.30ish. Um, that seems to be the most consistent time I have to myself. So, you know, typically check for my channel if you want to check for updates. Check for it around 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time to see an update on my channel. As far as my Twitch TV live streams, most of those are going to start taking place on the weekends uh, when I do have some spare time in order to dive into the game. But I am, a lot, a lot of my energy is going to be focused on school and this ebook because I want to get this guide out to you guys this season so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm like uh, when I do guides for next year. So, uh, but that's pretty much an update as far as what's going to happen. So, we're not just going to do Blitz of the Day. We're going to do Blitz of the Week. It's going to change into that because, um, not just because there's not as many uh, super great Blitzes on Next Gen Men, but also... Um, more specifically because I want to kind of give you a, a wider range of content since I won't be able to upload as frequently as I would like to. So, uh, you know, be checking for Blitz today. It's probably going to be on on uh, Mondays. And then on Tuesdays, I'm, I'm probably going to do an offensive money play. And then on Wednesdays, I'll probably do, uh, I might stream a little bit and get some gameplay and put some gameplay on the channel. Um, Thursdays, probably going to be doing something that has to do with um, a play breakdown or a concept breakdown that I want you guys to kind of grasp. And then, uh, Fridays, uh, maybe doing some Ultimate Team. Not quite sure what I'm going to do on Fridays. More, more than likely, probably going to be some kind of a tip video uh, to help you get better. Uh, it might be like just the defensive tip of the week or something like that. And then Saturdays, I really want to get back into the Top 5 series. Uh, top 5 tips, Top 5. I've got a lot of those uh, coming in for next gen, so you guys need to be looking out for that. And then on Sundays, I'm going to do my uh, BEST Best Video of the Week. Um, and that's just going to have, uh, you know, like the best run defense or the best pass defense or, or how to, something like that uh, on, on, the, uh, on that day. So that's kind of the update as far as the layout goes. And I'll go ahead and jot that down on my calendar. And hopefully I can get caught back up with the videos because, unfortunately, the YouTube recording software that I've had has been really uh, giving me a lot of hard times. That's why it's, it's been so imperative for me to get it up as soon as I get it recorded because, unfortunately, I don't have as much time as I did uh, have to record because I, I just have a lot of stuff going on right now. So, um, unfortunately, I just couldn't. Every time I would make a video, it, if it would freeze, then that would be it, and there wouldn't be any video for the day because I just didn't have any. I didn't have any backup plans. And so with this uh, this new uh, thing right here, uh, this new uh, schedule layout, and hopefully me working a little bit more harder uh, on the weekends. Um, Hopefully we'll be able to at least get you some content and uh, also get an e-guide out to you guys. So hopefully that uh, you'll appreciate that. Now as far as today's video go, I want to go ahead and uh, break down the Nickel 3-5, through five, uh, the best blitz of Madden 25. And I call it the best blitz of Madden It's been the best, best blitz uh, for years. And the reason it's the best blitz is because it has the best coverage. It's not necessarily because of the blitz, it's because of the coverage. But the play comes from the Nickel 3-5, three, 2-man three, under. And we're going to just show you this out of a basic def or offense here. Um, and, and what we like to do with this is we want to um, shift our defensive line to the left. We want to take Clay Matthews and we want to swing him out. Now, ideally, you want to put him just to the inside of the slot receiver like so. But you can, what you can do is also with this is you can just take him and run him out like here and then click off and he'll just sit there. So, But you want to make sure he gets in the inside of the slot because that way he will be able to uh, not get bumped after the play snap. Um, next, uh, next adjustment I want to go over here, you want to quarterback spy. Uh, Ryan Pickett here, and then you can do anything you want with B.J. Raji. You can put him in a purple zone. I typically will put him into a flat zone or a purple zone, uh, depending on if I'm facing a mobile quarterback, he'll go into a purple. If I'm facing a fast, or excuse me, if I'm facing a mobile quarterback, he'll go into a flat. And if I'm facing a pocket passer, he'll go into a purple zone. Here for this example, we're using Ryan Tannehill, so obviously we'll use a, a flat zone. Now the next thing I want you to do is I want you to shade your two men under. I want your slots to be shaded outside. Everybody gets shaded to the outside. 
And then lastly, what you can do is you want to bring your safeties kind of down. And I like to shade my coverage down just so that they play a little bit more in the middle. You don't have to do all those adjustments. The only thing that requires for this blitz to work is the swinging out of Clay Matthews and the shifting of your defensive line to the left. All right, so we're going to snap this ball here. And you're going to see that this uh, blitz here gets in really quick, really hot at the quarterback. It's about two seconds uh, typically that your quarterback will have to throw. Right there, we didn't get it quite uh, clean because we messed around with Clay Matthews a little bit too much. You want to only move him once or twice. Like, you don't want to, you don't want to just keep clicking on because the way what I found is the way the game uh, games AI works. If you're sitting here like this, the game, they're gonna block you because they're gonna pick you up and they're gonna say, oh crap, that's you know he's right in the gap and he's holding on and he must be blitzing him. But when you swing him out like this wider and you blitz from depth as we say in Man 25, then you're more than likely to get this result. As you see the pressure, oh well the guard slid out there. Typically that doesn't happen. Um, of course it would happen the one time I make the video. But, uh, as a lot of people would agree, you know, you find a really nice blitz and then uh, you make a video about it and it doesn't work. But anyway, the, the idea here, and there you see the blitz. That, that's perfect. That That's executed 100% to perfection and that's what you're looking for. Now, 99% of the time that will happen. Um, the only, Literally the only two times you get picked, when you get picked up most, is when you try to do what we did last year and just kind of stack him right there and you see how we get picked up. It's because of the game's AI. They recognize, okay, he's closer to line of scrimmage. He's probably going to be blitzing. But when but when you can draw the double team, and that's kind of the key, which is why you want to have a beast right here. Uh, this is your B.J. Raji, your Ryan Pickett, your, for, for the Packers, C.J. Wilson, um, your Richard Seymour kind of player that can occupy two men because he's supposed to occupy, get that push-up field, occupy that tackle and guard so that Matthews can come in untouched and as you see that's what happens when it doesn't quite work is when, when you get him a little bit just even a hair too close you just have to be very cognitive cognition I can't even say it very, very aware of, of the placement you want him right over the slot receiver if not uh, just a, you want him a hair to the inside of the slot receiver Okay, and then you want to make sure you're clicked off of him at the snap, and there you see the pressure come in off that side. And, of course, we could spy those guys up. I just wanted to save some time here. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that for you one more time. So, remember, just swing him out, and then you can do whatever you want over here, and make sure you shift your line to the left. Setup will be in the description, guys, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this blitz. If it does get picked up, um, obviously, you're, you're sending two guys, guys. I don't know if you recognize it or not. That's why this is one of the better blitzes, because we're only sending two people. I mean, I, I released, a, I released the uh, Roll Eagle 2 Invert, and it was a really good zone compliment, but it, it didn't have the strength of the man coverage. Now we have the strength of that two men under, the best defensive man 25, two men under from the nickel 35. I've been saying it for the last two seasons. It's the best defense in Madden NFL 25, especially against the pass defense. Be sure to check out the ebook, guys. I hope you guys will enjoy that. I will get that up as soon as possible. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel for daily Madden 25 videos. If you're new and you're just finding this what's random, I apologize for the early uh, information standpoint but if you would like to have more information about the youtube channel you can visit my youtube channel page by checking out the description clicking on my name you can check that out and you will be able to access all of my madden 25 videos as well as all my future videos if you hit that subscribe button so thank you for your time today guys i really apologize for the delay on videos and hopefully we can get back to doing what we do see you guys tomorrow for some more madden 25 videos